I was born and raised in Haifa as an only child. So at age nine, we moved back to the States and there stayed there. I think my main motivation for Aliyah is my passion to help people. And I really wanted to feel as Israeli as I can. For me, it was giving back in the way of the army. I was a shooting instructor for infantry troops. I think it was one of the most challenging but rewarding things I've ever done in my life. I've always had a passion for art, so then I decided I was going to go to college to SUNY Purchase in New York. Once I got my art therapy degree, I decided I was going to open up the studio, Tel Aviv Art Studio, and incorporate passions of teaching people the different workshops of all ages, um, of painting, drawing, ceramics, anything you could think of, and also doing art therapy. In my art therapy practices, I mostly work with soldiers that have gone through trauma, unfortunately, and I think that's really, really important and imperative during this time to really give an answer about mental health and how to approach it in a different, more creative way to help people. I always talk about Tel Aviv Art Studio as sort of a hub. It's sort of a beacon or a watering hole, if you will, between Olim and Israelis, bringing everyone together, regardless of age and background, nationality, and it's been a really beautiful process. I work with an organization called Souls of Rwanda, which basically brings um, children from this underdeveloped country, unfortunately, and once a week, we carve out a time to make sure that they can make art and they can feel special. I think that Israel and living here is a huge opportunity, and it's not to be taken for granted. I think that that's a huge message for Olim Chadashim, especially young Olim Chadashim, that you can make anything out of yourself, and the possibilities are sort of endless here. You just have to fight for it, and you have to work really hard.